Every four years, presidential election happens here in the wonderful country of the United States of America. And uh, every four years, the people that are thinking about doing real estate, it's kind of, it gets, they get a little squirmy. We kind of want to talk about that right now, about, you know, what, what are some things to watch out for and just be mindful of during an election year. We are not going to have a political conversation at all. We're just going to talk about what happens with real estate in this year and, and how things can go down if you're thinking of making a move. If you're watching this and you like it, hit that like. If you don't like it, you can hit the unlike. Comment below. That really helps us out in the YouTube world. Uh, you know, subscribe, hit that little notification so you get notified. And uh, also we are real estate brokers. So if you're looking at making a move up here, we'd love to chat with you. Even if you just want to talk about Maine, uh, reach out to me uh, or somebody on my team. We'll get back to you right away. And uh, we look forward to talking to you, of course. Uh, election year, we just wanted to kind of shine some light on, you know, how, you know, what happens here during an election year. I've been doing this long enough, so I've seen a few of these. And it's kind of, it's, it's always the same during an election year. And really what happens is people just get kind of antsy at election year. You know, they're not sure who, you know, who's going to be elected or what's going to happen and how it's going to affect them. Um, so there's just a lot of uncertainty. That uncertainty translates into the real estate market. If you have an investment, buying something or selling something, you know, it, it, if you're a little antsy about it, it just makes you, it makes you a little weird about it. But I always tell people, hey, look, just, just calm down. You know, everything's going to be okay. We've made it through a lot of elections in this country. We will again. I can almost guarantee that. What people are concerned about is like, hey, is my values going to go way down? Or what's going to happen with interest rates and things like that? And regarding interest rates, historically, we've seen interest rates just kind of, you know, float right through. There's no huge changes. As a matter of fact, they go, they might even go down a little bit. That's what we've seen historically. So interest rates, we're not going to see any major spikes either way. They might go down a little bit, but not a ton. But that's that's really what's going to happen. Kind of even keel. Everybody's kind of just wants to keep everything status quo, you know. And uh, so that's actually a pretty good thing. So if you are thinking about purchasing a place, at least you can know like, hey, look, it's not going to spike way up. Or, you know, like, if it does come down a bit, great, you know, jump on it. Uh, but I understand that, you know, you might be, might be a little antsy about it. Now, it's really the local elections, though, that you should really be concerned about, because those are the ones that are making like the policies for your local real estate market, you know, regarding like taxation and zoning and things like that. But even then, like you don't have too much control over it. So I'd hate to have you all anxious about that. And you can just be mindful of whatever towns you're looking to move to. Just, you know, look up on the town website, see what's going on, see what kind of elections are happening and, uh, and you know, make those decisions based on what you know. Talking to real estate brokers can help too because a lot of times we're plugged into what, what's happening or what might be happening and we could talk you through those things. I typically don't get into any kind of political conversation as I said before, but I'm happy to tell you about what's happening, what's coming down the pipe, you know, all those types of things and I can help kind of, you know, steer you in the right direction. Long-term resilience, you know, Maine is fantastic as far as like that real estate market is, it holds true, you know, through this, through election years, like prices don't, again, just like interest rates, they don't go way up, they don't come way down, you know, everything just kind of goes right through. Now, where there is a little bit of a dip is you're going to see like a lot of listings might go away because people are like, oh, I want to wait to list my house till after the election. Who knows why? So you might see less listings as we get further into the year. A lot of times the elections eat up a lot of the advertising dollars and a lot of advertising in the, in the different media outlets. That can affect like how to market your property if you're looking to sell it. Uh, but there's also some creative ways to do that uh, during an election year, like really kind of grassroots ways to get your name out there locally and get things, get things sold still if you are thinking about making a move. If you're looking at buying, like I said, interest rates might come down a little bit. So keep an eye on that and it could be great. You know, these elections don't really have any major long-term damage or, you know, growth in either, either way. So I always tell people during an election year, I know it might make you anxious, but try to stay calm and just go with it. Everything's going to be okay. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful for you. Comment below. Um, thanks for watching. And remember, if you make Maine your home, you don't have to do it alone. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and one of these buttons over here. We get a lot of great information about real estate, the state of Maine, cool things to do, all that kind of stuff. And of course, if you have any questions at any time, comment below or hit us up on all social media platforms and we'd love to help you out. And uh, we love talking about Maine and real estate in Maine.